Today our adventure will have a safari feel. Our friend Ron McGill, world-renowned animal expert, will show us around his home base, Zoo Miami. The Zoo Miami is truly integrated with the South Florida community. They even host fundraisers amongst the animals. This is gonna be a very exciting adventure. I'm so ready for this. Hang tight. So Ron, where are we going? Well, I think I want to take you back to see our giraffe. I think the giraffe feeding experience is kind of that intimate experience. You look like an intimate kind of person. So yeah, I thought sometimes. that you would you would enjoy that. You know, and they're tall and you can see them eye to eye. We've got great platform, so it's something I think you'll enjoy. So Ron McGill, he's been waiting for about a year to do our show. Dude, you've been stalking him for a year. He's defriended you three times on Facebook. You're full of it. See, look at him, he's waiting for me! Come yeah. here! Papas! Come here, Benzik! Come here, Bobby! Come here, Benzik! Come here! Come here! Stella, put your face right here like this. Mm -hmm. Ready? <laughs> Ew! Put it right in your mouth there. There you go. There's lots of this stuff. Okay. Okay. Now, a male giraffe can get to be as tall as about 18 feet. Female is a little shorter, about 15 feet. Okay. Okay. They're generally not an aggressive animal, mm -hmm. but understand this: they are very capable of defending themselves. I've actually seen a giraffe kill a lion. Wow! In the in Africa, kick a lion. Yeah, this is really a great zoo in the sense that animals are seen in naturalistic environments. So much so that actually the p people at Disney use this zoo as a model for the movie Lion King. There's a baby nursing right there with his mom. See the baby nursing. Oh yeah, Over that's so beautiful. Yeah, the baby's nursing right there. They sent all their animators down here back in 1994, and they had them drawing all the animals. We didn't know at the time what a huge movie it was going to be. But in fact, the animals here at Zoo Miami are the animals that are the models for the movie Lion King. These are the kinds of behaviors you see out here at the zoo. First of all, you see animals in these wide open exhibits. I you know. know. No fences, it is so no unique. bars, natural grass, natural trees. You yeah. see them out in their herd, herd environments, and it really, uh, it really tries to duplicate that wild experience. That safari experience. Exactly. That's what we're trying to do. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Where are we going now? Now we're going to see my buddy JJ the gorilla. JJ. JJ. Yeah. He is the stud muffin here at Zoo Miami. Are you happy to see Stella? Can I, JJ? Can I get a little clap? Something. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. There you go, brother. There you go. Good catch, brother. Wow. That's a good catch. You feel him in love, Stella? Yes, I feel it. Can I feel? Can I do it? Well, let me explain to you. Yes. Educationally, why we don't. We, you won't be able to feed this guy because on the primates, okay. the problem with primates is that primates can catch anything that we have. Okay. So if you had a cold, even though you don't know it or anything like that, right. see, I had to go through all kinds of special cleaning before I went out on this thing. I don't think Ron wanted Stella to feed the gorilla because he was afraid that Stella would give the gorilla some old Funk and Wagnall Colombian disease. No, Stuart, he didn't want the gorilla to fall in love with my Colombian scent. Okay. So only the keepers are allowed to have any food that goes to the gorilla because... That makes sense. You can catch anything. Yeah. Giraffe can't catch anything for you. They're catch, yeah. They don't have commonly transmittable diseases. Mm -hmm. Stuart's a well-built guy. He's in the gym a lot, I can tell. And I was comparing him to the gorilla. The gorilla's big chest, big biceps. Massive chest. Yes. Massive biceps. Massive S forearms. Small ego. And I, was, I didn't make any inferences, but I wanted them to know that the gorilla also has a really... The zoo covers 740 acres and is home to more than 2,000 animals. They recently opened Amazon and Beyond, an exhibit that spans 27 acres and features 100 astonishing species, including giant river otters, jaguars, and anacondas. Oh my gosh, snakes are truly my only phobia in life. So we hung around with some giraffes, some gorillas, and then I'm supposed to go to a golf cart and get something out for Ron. Right in the back of my vehicle right there. Go right back there and get that. It's right in the back. Just okay. get it. Bring it over to me. It's, All right. it's cool. Go ahead. It's like some food or something. Oh my god, what is that? Go. Ah! What? That's Come on. Then I see a huge snake. Are you kidding? I know Stuart was in on this. Stella, it's fake. It is not fake. fake I Stella. know it's not. Fake. It's it's rubber. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't do it. Look, he's petting you. Oh. It's not it's not venomous. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. This is a Burmese python. Okay. This is the new star of South Florida now because they're supposedly all over the place. But she's nice. not gonna bite you. Because okay. she's enjoying your body heat right now. She told me how frightened she was of the snake, how the snake was her horrible fear, it was making her so uncomfortable. There it's we like go. squatting. Yeah, now stand up. Stand up, this is your squat. Okay. There you go. Okay, now hold on. Oh hold my on. god. Where's it going? 
to bed, right? No, no, yeah. Okay. So we yeah. can go on okay. to something new now. Okay, please take oh, look, her off. Oh, she realized, oh, look, oh, chat. Oh my God. I wanted you to have a life moment. Yes. To have a moment of something you've been afraid of all of your life. Yes, I have been. And then understand that it's not that bad. Right. No smell, no slime, you right. get bitten. But having said that, that's because this is a special snake. You should right. never approach a snake in the wild, touch a snake in the wild, right. anything like that. Wow. So you gotta do it. It, it takes a little while sometimes. Put a little in my hand. I have more birds than you. Yes, you they love me. For once. I'm usually not a fan of birds, but these are cute. We want to thank our friend Ron from Zoo Miami. For more information, log on to zoomiami.org or go to liveinlavida.tv or hit us up on Facebook at facebook.com slash liveinlavida with Stella and Stuart. And for more exciting adventures, tune in next week. Yes, this yes. is how a camel sounds when he's excited or irritated. It's hard to tell the difference. It kind of goes like this. <laughs> So the same sound is decided or irritated. Yeah, it depends. It's much like Stella. It's all another story. Okay, so well have a good ride. Come on up. <laughs> we need to do like a time lapse of that. Are cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're watching Live in La Vida with Stella and Stuart. This is what you call Napoleon Complex. Who gave her permission to speak? He can run bareback. Sorry. The parties and the sights are amazing. Everybody join in. Let them hear your voices. Let us fill the void in your life with enjoyment. So everything you need is coming up in the set. So turn the volume up and stay in front of your sets. Living La Vida with Stella and Stewart is sponsored by La Lechonera Mojo Marinade. The original and the best.